Hi, this is John from All Friends Smokehouse. We're just gonna go through some different things we do uh, for our dry rub for our meats. 90% of the meats that I get all come from our G-Models Market in New Bedford. Uh, some of the best quality stuff that I've ever had. I uh, grew up going there as a kid to get my meats from my house from there. So this right here is our dry rub mix. It's a combination, it's a homemade, homemade rub combination of different things. Uh, brown sugar, little granulated garlic, uh, kosher salt, and a few other things that I can't, can't let out just yet. Uh, but I would say it's, it's your typical Texas to Memphis style dry rub mix. We put this on, on everything uh, from our turkey to the brisket, every item that we have dry rub, I kind of do the same type of mix. Just gonna coat the ribs. Now what I generally like to do is wrap everything, let it sit uh, anywhere from 12 to 24 hours overnight. It allows all the, uh, the salt and everything to really set in, brings out the great flavor and helps the, the smoking process uh, while it's curing. We're all set, we're just gonna let this sit. Some more of our ribs. So these, these were rubbed shortly a while ago. You can see some of the uh, moisture coming off from the salt and sugar. Another piece of our beef brisket. I'm gonna let these sit and we're gonna get ready to throw it on the smoker. This is the inside of the uh, firebox for the smoker. So I use uh, lump charcoal and different flavored woods for everything that we're gonna smoke. Today we're doing our ribs and brisket, so it's going to be a combination of peach and cherry wood. These are some of our wood chunks I buy from an organic farm in Missouri. Uh, usually about once to twice a week, I get a shipment about 30 to 50 pounds, depending on how much they have, just to make sure that I'm using the right woods from the same flavors that they use down south, just to make sure it's authentic. Close it up, we'll add some, uh, some more wood and more charcoal about every hour to hour and a half. We come out about every half an hour to baste the ribs, helps make it moist, and then we'll always check to see if we need to add any more heat to the firebox. So this is, this is a reverse flow competition style smoker. It's on a 14 foot trailer, it allows me to take it around, set up shop, you know, go to different festivals, on site catering, which really opens up a whole new uh, department for me to do some different things more unique than uh, anything else around. This is the inside of the smoker box. The shells will slide out, it's nice and easy. I have capacity for over 200 pounds of meat all in one shot. I can do about 20 racks of ribs per shelf. Right on, try to leave a little bit of separation. Everything's not right on top of each other. And uh, these are baby back ribs. We do both St. Louis style and baby back. Uh, St. Louis style is your uh, larger spare ribs. The baby back is the more popular. Get a few more bones. Uh, myself, I find either way, the flavor wise is good. It's just more of a personal preference. I would say what, what makes us unique is the fact that you know, we, we use true flavors of what goes into your typical southern barbecue. Uh, buying the wood from down south, uh, making sure I'm very selective to make sure that it's coming from certified organic farms. I know that the wood is top quality. It's things that are used by uh, big barbecue competition teams all across the world. Uh, the, the wood is fantastic. I know it's always coming in exactly when I need it to and the different flavors really separate other th places in the area. You know, having the true outside barbecue and using the wood and the charcoal flavor as opposed to liquid smoke or an electric smoker really gives that true authentic flavor of Southern barbecue that people like myself and the other true barbecue fanatics are really looking for when they go out. And I think that there's a lacking in this area and I'm real happy to be one, if not the only uh, true barbecue, uh, Texas style barbecue in South Coast. So we're just gonna check and see how our ribs are doing. You can see they Still got a long way to go, but we got some great smoke coming off. We're going to wait a little while longer, then we're going to throw our first uh, coat of baste on there. 
make sure they stay nice and nice and tender but we still got about a good four hours left to go so these ribs have been on for about five and a half hours we got both st louis and baby back we're just going to check on them right now it should be ready to go Here. Nice color. These are the baby back ribs. Definitely done nice and tender. I'm gonna bring these inside, get ready to grow one up for an order. I'm just gonna finish it off on the grill. Probably about two or three minutes just to really sear, bring out some of those flavors from inside, brush it with barbecue sauce, and it's ready to go. Very big hit so far. 